Hello. Happy Easter. I'm back. Remember, I'm Margie Alba from Margarita Suntia at Ibaba. And um, I left last September 2020 to take care of my dad. Uh, in the state, so I arrived January of this year, and uh, now we are preparing for this is our Easter visit. If I'm not mistaken, this is our tenth visit to uh, the homes. Okay, so we are preparing now a donation from the Agoncilla family. Uh, they donated. Uh, empanadas, so chicken empanadas, and lumpia, the port of Cubana, and our chicken pastel uh, for the 460 elderly at the home for the elderly at the Boys Town, Martina. So, in a little while, it's about 1 30, and maybe maybe in an hour, we're almost done with the lumpia, and we're done with all the empanadas here that you see. So, um, Yes, before we move on, I would like to do a review with you because um, this is the Easter Sunday and this is our 10th visit. So far, we started Margarita Suntia way back in June of last year. We were born during the pandemic, if you notice. So our social enterprise is really for the advocacy of feeding the hungry in the um, orphanages that abuse uh, women, children, and uh, all that we can help out there, even the sick. Because after this, we will be visiting uh, children with cancer, which I will explain in the near future. So meantime, uh, I would like to review with you uh, all the institutions that we've been to uh, since uh, June of last year. So we started with uh, Good Samaritan, that was in Maritina, uh, Merit Cell, World Children Foundation, that's an orphanage. We went to uh, Kaisahang Buhay Foundation. Those are the children who have gone past the adoption um, age and they are being uh, sponsored for further studies for college by the Kaisahang Buhay Foundation. So, we also went to Gentle Hands in Project 4. We went to, when I left, uh, to notice my two nieces, Stephanie and Kat Kat, they hosted um, Holy Trinity, a uh, home for children that's in Novaliches. Um, St. Vita Orphanage, which was founded by my Lola, Carmen, sorry, Carmen Alba. And then uh, they went to, I also hosted uh, Mary Immaculate Parish in Diliman, that is for, for the frontliners. Okay, so, and, uh, and now we're doing the series. We, we started with the children's and uh, girls' home in Boys Town. Uh, we did the second uh, of the series for the boys in the Boys Town. And now this one is for the home for the elderly. In the boys town okay this will be our last visit in that area so okay so you can come with me and see um, now is a uh, lockdown period again so um, that's down for the two of us my son and I are the only ones going to Marikina okay by the way um, when I arrived January of this year we planned to open a kiosk in um, Promenade Greenville. So uh, since March, I think we opened March 4th uh, last month and uh, we are offering all of our products there. You can see us in our uh, Facebook and Instagram. We have our menu. So hopefully after the pandemic, uh, or after this lockdown, the pandemic might go on, but after this lockdown and when uh, they give us freedom to move about, to move around, so you can come visit us there. Or uh, you can order online through our Facebook Messenger uh, our products. We offer everything cooked and frozen. Oh. 
what we know can be and on this day we hope for what we still can't see it's up to us to be the change and even though we all can still do more there's so much to be thankful for Look beyond ourselves There's so much sorrow It's way too late to say I'll cry of us must find our truth We're so long overdue So for tonight we pray for What we know can be And every day we hope for What we still can't see it's up to us to be the change and even though we all can still do more there's so much to be thankful for even with our differences there is a place each of us can find each other's light Oh